Now we're going to look at how to record and monitor butterflies. Recording butterflies is really important because it helps us to understand how the populations are doing. One of our most recent reports was the State of UK Butterflies 2015 report. And this used evidence from over two and a half thousand weekly transects where people were recording butterflies on certain routes every week through the summer. It also used an additional 11 million records of butterflies from other sources. This really helps us to summarize how butterflies are doing over time and helps us to take practical conservation work to conserve those butterflies. So recording butterflies helps us to inform our conservation work, but it's also really good indicators of things like climate change and other land use changes. Butterflies track the climate really quickly, so they're very good indicators of climate change. Generally, we call it taking nature's pulse. So if you combine records of butterflies with things like bees and birds and wildflowers and other animals, you can see how nature in the UK is performing. And generally, it's just really good for us. So getting outside on a sunny day to look for butterflies is good for our mental and physical health. So when you make a record of a butterfly, you're actually making a biological record. This requires a date, a location and the species name. And I'll show you how to find those in different methods now. One of the easiest ways to record butterflies is through the iRecord Butterflies app. This is free to download. It's available for Android and Apple devices. All you have to do is search for iRecord Butterflies and it's really useful for records on the go. You can use it for single records. So that's of a single species in a single place. And using that method, you can actually attach a photograph with it, but that isn't necessary. You can also send to multiple records. This is where you want to send in sightings of several different species from one area. There's also a free butterfly ID guide with it with photographs of all the butterflies and their locations and when you're likely to see them. So it's a really good resource to have. So if we just look at how to send in multiple records, this is where you've seen more than one butterfly species. So we'll go to survey area. And then within this section, first of all, you have to give the site a name. So you could put it as, say if you're, if you're surveying in your garden, you could put the name of your street and the garden, for example, then. You also have to identify what kind of site it is. So if it's a point location, that might be a small garden, or you could go up to one kilometer by one kilometer, which might be a larger park, for example. Once you've selected the size of the site, then you can go to get either get my current location, which finds you using um, satellites, or you can go to enter using map, and that allows you to navigate to where you are. So here I've chosen enter using map, and I've chosen Glasgow, so I've zoomed in on Glasgow, you can do that by pinching the screen and going uh, zooming in further. So I've zoomed in a bit on Glasgow. Then you can go between map and satellite mode. If you go to satellite, that actually allows you to see aerial photos. Here I've zoomed in further to the site. This is Rob Royston Local Nature Reserve. Then after that, you just tap the screen to set the location and you can see the blue pin going down. You'll also notice that the orange use chosen location button is highlighted and that is you identifying that this is where you saw that butterfly. After that, you can change the date if you need to. And then you can begin to add species. You do this by tapping the add species to survey button and that just allows you to begin to add species to your survey. So you'll see a whole list of species starting with small tortoiseshell and going further down. For each one, you can also look at further information on a gallery and you can scroll down the screen but if you're not seeing the butterfly that you reckon that you saw, you can go to show additional and this will show all the butterflies in the UK. For each species you want to add to your survey, you simply tap the photograph and then you can use the plus and minus numbers to change the number that you saw. Then you can press add species to survey to add more species to it. When you're ready to submit your records and you've added all the species to the survey, all you have to do is press the send button at the top. Now at this stage, you can either choose to send it immediately, and that's useful if you've got access to uh, either Wi-Fi or you've got a phone signal and can send in your record. But if you don't have a phone signal, you can actually store your record and send it when you get home. So now I'm going to look at an example of how you store your records and how you send them when you get back. Here's how to save and send later. So you can see here, I've chosen to save instead of send. Then back on the home screen, if you look at the top left hand corner, you'll see those three horizontal bars. You just tap those and you'll see this screen. You go to my sightings 
and then just press send all and that will send all of your surveys away and they will be uh, verified by a local butterfly recorder and then you're done now you can also use the iRecord website to find this you can use the address on the screen there or just simply google iRecord you have to create an account this is gives you a username and a password or you can log in if you've already got it iRecord is a great resource for recording different types of animals and you can also record uh, bees and other insects through iRecord. This allows you to submit records to the iRecord website but also to the iRecord Butterflies app. So on the iRecord website you go to record and enter a list of records as I've done here. Then you begin to type the species name and you have two different tabs. So in the first tab it's called what did you see? So here I begin to type the species name, I'm typing small, and you'll see small fight coming up. I should say also that you need to record, enter the date that you recorded on. But here I've selected small white from the list. And you can go along the page then and enter the details. So you must enter how many you saw, but don't worry if you don't know the sex. But the stage is usually adult because there'll be adult butterflies that you're seeing fly. You put in your name. But also you can add any photos, so if you get a photograph on your phone or through a camera, you can attach a photo as well. This is very useful for rare species and it helps the verifier to be sure that it is what you saw. You need to do this list for all the species of butterfly that you saw at one site on one day. If you want to record from two different days, you have to submit two different surveys. Now the next tab is where was it? This is where it gets a bit more complicated, but once you've done it once or twice, it becomes quite easy. So first of all, you need to give the location a name. Here I've named this one Rob Royston Local Na Nature Reserve. But you also need a spatial reference, and this is basically what's called a grid reference. And this is a code which helps to identify the location. Most people won't know the grid reference, but you can find it very easily by simply going to the search. So I've searched for Rob Royston in this example. You'll see it's brought up a map. I've zoomed into Rob Royston Local Nature Reserve. You can zoom in and out, as I've done. And then all you have to do is click anywhere on the map, well, really the place where you saw the butterflies, that will identify a square. And that's the location that you're using for your records. And automatically that code is entered into the spatial reference box, which you'll see on the left hand of the screen here. So now you've identified the species, you've said how many there were, you've said the date, and the location. So you're ready to submit your records. You can change the habitat information if you know it and then basically you can click submit and that will be you sending your records off. And there you are, done again. Now a really good thing to do at the moment would be the garden butterfly survey. To take part in this all you have to do is register online at www.gardenbutterflysurvey.org then you record all the garden butterflies that you see and you're trying to note the maximum of each species you see on any given day. You can do this every day if you want, but it's good to do it at least once per month, and this helps us to track the butterflies throughout the year. So what next? After this, your record will go online to be verified by a local butterfly recorder. Sometimes they might question the record if it's rare or unusual. So if you reckon it is quite rare, try to get a photograph. Even a half decent photograph can help confirm what species it is. And now get outside to record butterflies if you can and just get more involved. There's more information on all of our recording at www.butterfly-conservation.org forward slash recording.